welcome today we are going to talk about unit second the elements of painting which consists of line form space value texture and color in lesson 3 we will learn about the line form and space and in fourth lesson we will tell you about value texture and color lesson 3 today we will start about line function this is the first element of drawing it is an important and necessary element of painting objective after going through this lesson you will learn the meaning of line and its importance in art kinds of line basic line drawings a study of basic form through line and methods of drawing lines introduction here we will learn how lines can be created in how many types we can draw a line and create a painting what is line a long thin mark frequently made with a pencil is called line according to geometry line is an expression of distance between two dots let's see lots of dots by which we can create a line but art lines are different from geometrical lines we draw geometrical lines with the help of geometrical tools like scale compass etc whereas art lines are drawn by free hand without using any tools to draw a line with pencil ink pen will create a different effect and expression here generally we have two kinds of lines simple line and curved line when we draw a line from one point to decided direction that is known as simple line and when the direction gets continuous changes then the line is known as a curved line now here we are going to learn about the different lines and their respective effects simple line shows hardness and can also shows gravity but in curved line we have lots of effects and expressions like when we draw a line with little turns or slight roundness it creates effects of aesthetical effects liveness and smoothness when we draw curved line intensely it shows power effectiveness and activeness a multi curved line with less space create depression mental imbalance dilemma and struggle lines and direction horizontal lines shows rest and peace vertical line shows power balance determination honesty truth and hardness conical line shows speed fast and fight downward lines shows peace and surrender spiral lines show rhythmic peace or rhythm in drawing line with comes from one center or point shows effect of concentration power and expansion perspective effects with lines function in painting different types of lines gives different perspective effects line is a two dimensional object but the way lines are used it can create effects of three dimensional to show object near the line should draw bold and dark to show objects in distance the line should draw dim and thin
to show gravity and other dimension. Conical lines are drawn in different ways. From line shading, we can show highlights, volume, textures and other details. Lines and its applications Weak lines in drawing a line, if we don't apply equal pressure all around the line's construction, also if we are uncertain about the goal direction, then due to this dilemma, we draw a weak line. This line could be a vibrated line. Strong lines, when we draw a line with force and in decided direction, then such line appears to be strong lines. Soft lines. When a line is drawn with little curve, uneven darkness or with burn or clear effects together are known as soft lines. Hard lines are equal from all sides. It can be geometrical and lines with soft edges are given effects of softness. When the paper is wet and we draw a line on it that comes light and it will not clear from the end that is soft lines. Broken line. When we draw a line on dry and uneven paper with darkness, then line edges will not come smooth. That calls broken line. Form. Now we will start learning about form, which is an important and a second element of painting. Objective. The meaning of form and its importance in art, kinds of form, basic form drawings, a study of basic forms, introduction. Form is artist's way of thinking and meaning of visualization. Form refers to the shape of object as well as to the shape used in abstract designs. Lines as much do not exists in nature and are tools invented by artists to indicate form. When working from nature, we will learn to identify and present it what you see in terms of simple forms, different types of form. Let us see, with only a small imagination, most shapes found in nature could be fitted comfortably into one of these structures like the rectangle, the cube, the circle or cylindrical, triangle and pyramid. Any objects can be seen as composed of the combinations of these basic shapes. The hand can be seen as a block, a mountain as a pyramid or a triangle. To draw accurately, however, detail must be ignored in favor of major shapes that structure the form. Once it is understood, you will find that you can draw anything. The still life can be seen through a basic geometrical format such as block, cylindrical, then reduced to simple pattern of structure forms. Once basic forms have been established, texture, color, and value may be introduced with confidence. Space Objective The meaning of space and its importance in art Kinds of space Basic drawing to show space Introduction The word space 
can mean different to a drawing. It can refer to the sense of three-dimensional space suggested within the confines of the paper or it can refer to the area that separates one form from another on the picture plane. Negative space An aspect of the second spectacle delilation is often called negative space. Into space or background, the observation of this space is an initial tool for enable us to see form objectively. You are a beginner and you often identify a familiar object without examining its shapes and proportion carefully. Combine the awareness of the form with the accurate observation of shape of surrounding space. The multiplication of negative space is helpful not only in rendering individual forms but also in establishing a relation between forms and in creating a composition. Positive space, the object which we draw is positive space. Summing up, line is an important element of painting by which you can create your drawing with different effects. You can explore your idea of drawing by lines. A small imagination, most shapes found in nature could be fitted comfortably into one of the structures like rectangle, the cube, the circle or cylinder, triangle and pyramid. Any objects that we see or exist in nature in their basic shapes create a balance in drawing it help us to uniform the form on drawing sheets thank you i hope you must have enjoyed this lesson